Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 in the efforts to recreate the Holy Roman Empire. We, uh, uh, in the last episode, kind of, I'm actually blanking on what we did. I normally give a recap of that and I'm completely blanking. I do know we ended with uh, a discussion of whether or not we should go, uh, which kingdom we should go after because we need a kingdom title uh, so we can secure our realm. And we can either take Pomerania here or Denmark. And it was kind of a, it's kind of a mixed gown because Pomerania would be easier because we can declare holy wars against them. That's obviously beneficial. Uh, however, you need 17 counties to be able to create the title. Where Denmark, you only need eight. And so Denmark is a weird title to reform the uh, Holy Roman Empire around, uh, but I'm thinking that's probably the one to go with. Uh, but for the immediate solution, what we should do is strip away from our brother uh, more of my claims, more of our titles. He has uh, only 14k of troops and we have 23. So I think that's what we're going to dive straight into with this episode, uh, is another war with him. To regain our land and then we're going to want to consider strongly maybe breaking down our duchy titles because when we die the duchy titles are going to split up to other people and that's it's just not ideal so let's declare war on our claims out of curiosity who is this out oh he doesn't it says he has one ally but it doesn't admit he has one ally kind of weird hackers allies military strength but it doesn't tell me who normally it tells you who here yeah, regardless. Oh shoot, we still have a truce. My bad. I thought that had ended. Uh, 19 months. Okay, well, it's, it's not far. I don't think we're going to go to another war in the meantime. That doesn't seem beneficial to me. Like, we could do... Because I think... We could do a duchy war down here, actually. I chiefed him of murder. Hmm. That's tempting. I feel like we're expanding at a rapid pace. It's gonna be hard to keep everyone happy without proper titles. We do that. Come after you. Yeah, see. I'm pretty sure what was happening is before this person had allies such that war with them was quite unreasonably unpleasant. Uh, but now it seems to be perfectly manageable. So, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's dive into this. Never stop gr growing. They are bigger than us, though. The military. Can we... Yeah, that's all max size. Doesn't feel like... Like, it's a close war. I could probably win if I was careful. Alright, I'm just looking... It looks like it's two armies, so who's your ally? I chieftain up there. So it's two separate armies. One of a thousand, one of fourteen hundred. So as long as I catch them separately, this is gonna go fine. We're gonna do it. If I mess up, it will be disappointing. Uh, but in this game, they can't take land from us uh, if they win. So we're gonna try this. Uh, High Chieftain. I'm curious. So High Chieftain is basically like a duchy title that's kind of like a kingdom. They're independent rulers. I wonder if we can take that title and rule over duchy. I don't think we can. Because I think it still counts as a duchy. But I'm, I'm kind of curious. We'll take a peek at that at some point. Okay, let's do this. And let's pull our armies together. And you know what? We're going to take personal command. Because we're a very good leader. So brave, so strong. Wait. Kind of exactly what we didn't want, which was the second son. 
and we didn't want it because what a second son translates to uh, is our titles get split. Ooh, that's what we want. We want to catch this army right off the bat and do as much damage as we can. And we're going to thoroughly win this, which is nice. Definitely took some casualties. Not so bad. Can we chase? Yeah, not worth it. Let's take this fort. Where's that army going? What we would like to do is get to their capital and take their capital. So we'll siege this for now. And life will be good. To ask our head of faith for gold. That's actually quite tempting. Because we've used the piety we need. Let's do it. Thank you, Mr. Pope. So I don't want those two armies to merge up. But I would like to finish this siege before we move. I should just go and kill them, shouldn't I? Yeah. I can't let them budge. It's already going to be uglier than I would like. Oh, is that fort stopping them? Lovely. So we'll get rid of this army. Then we'll get rid of that army. Which we will win again. Lots of good victories here. This is going better right off the bat than I, I feared. But this is what I was saying. Like We just needed to catch the armies separate. It wasn't such a big deal. Uh, can I sneak straight to the capital? I can. And there's no uh, skull, which means I'm not taking extra casualties for it. So we're going to try and take uh, their capital. Oh, I am taking... I'm losing 100 people for this move. And that's fine. Sieging down the capital is so beneficial if we can capture an heir or a wife or the leader themselves if they're not running the army like we are. Um, one of the things we might want to consider doing at some point is ripping down this duchy title. It would cost 400 of our prestige. And everyone in the duchy would lose a penny of us. But right now... The title is going to go not to our prime. Oh, it is going to our primary heir. Interesting. I thought we had an equal split laws. Be divided equally among your children. Oh, no, it is different people. I'm just completely blind. Okay. So my fear is correct on that. So we should probably destroy that title. And we're not going to make this title. And it's much harder to keep our people happier because of this. Uh, but I think that's just worth it. Now let's speed up a little bit because we're just sieging here. Nothing too exciting. Ended our sway scheme. Oh, well, he's at 100, so that's fine. I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm going to take this, which will be good. And we'll have to go cut down that army, I think. Fine. 70%. See, 70% right then and there. Actually, I don't know how much we got from the fights, so that could have been it too. Okay, well, I don't know what you're up to, but we'll siege this down. Where are you going, mate? Are you going to circle around? Wonder if I can get a sense. 1.2 a day. 1 a day. But I don't think that 0.2 is going to let us siege first. Camp to Uh, After my army sets up camp, I hear commotion coming from my knight's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I found Mayor Rake and Walter in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Uh, deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. 57% chance to gain prestige, martial experience, and opinion. 
75% chance the fight escalates. Uh, have them whipped for the delinquency. <laughs> uh, dread. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're, we are chivalrous ones, so we're going to give a speech. They fall on deaf ears and a brawl breaks out. Might as well join in. 98% to be the victor. Nice. Well, I got experience out of that. It was ridiculous, but hey, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Why is this dropping? Oh, I don't have the war. War goal. That's fine. I probably should. 150. No, we might actually do this first. Let's speed up. 170. 100. Do Marshall Cook. Uh. I think we'll go down the strategic branch. Because there's a lot of good ones for, like, just improvements of our troops. That one wasn't particularly helpful, but that's okay. Okay, so we siege that. Now we're gonna come beat up this army. Which we should win against. Relatively easily. Oh wow, they split up and we caught them separate. I could not have planned that better. I can ransom someone. Sure, I'll take 50 gold. Oh, my children don't have guardians. That's oops. Okay, so my primary heir, which is you, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, educate child. We could educate them. I actually think, because of how we're imagining this going down, uh, we're going to have our wife do it. Because basically I've, I've set him to learn intrigue, and the whole rationale behind that was he was learning a lot from our wife, who was... An elusive shadow, so she needs to be the guardian. It just makes the most sense. Uh, and then for the daughter, you know what? We'll just educate. Yeah, we'll just educate the daughter, and we'll educate the other son. And we're gonna kind of look past the fact that probably we should be personally educating our primary heir and not our secondary heir. Um, but hey, let's, let's not focus on that too much. Maybe the primary heir just got along with the mother better and chooses to spend more time with her and learn from her. That makes sense. My daughter has been impressed with one of the household knights for a long time. After finally meeting in person, she has been repeating the warrior's words. This is the one flaw of having a wife uh, train our primary heir is we don't have control over what traits he gets. Uh, like this. Uh, but she keeps generous. Yeah, we would encar encourage generous. 100%. Let's come get this other army. Because I think if we kill that, we can force peace. Hey. We should invest some of our money into getting more siege equipment. It will help greatly. And I think if I close that, yeah, it, time will run faster. It slows down so you can watch. But I don't need to watch. Okay, there we go. Enforce demands. Disband all. Look at how ridiculously weird our territory is. So there is a fun thing. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but there is a fun thing we could do. Uh, where we could... Oh, my brain stopped working. Oh, uh, a council. Oh, we can't do it. So you can integrate titles. Oh, you must hold a kingdom title to do it. So it's kind of fun. If you conquer land that isn't normally under your kingdom and you don't have the kingdom title, you can integrate it in that land into your title and that it moves where the land belongs, which is kind of neat. Uh, so we have too many domain holdings again. So we need to give up a bunch of this land to people. Uh, shy, wrathful, brave. I'm not worrying too much about... You know what? Let's give you two. I'm not worrying too much about what I give people because, quite simply... Uh, quite simply... It would probably kill us and we would spend 18 hours trying to pick perfect people for everything. But also, I think you mainly just want to avoid things like ambitious where they're going to attempt to take land from you. 
And if you avoid that, then you're doing okay. I'm gonna give each of these two, I think. And then... Need to give away one more. I think just one more, right? Three holdings over, okay, maybe a few more. Deceitful. Maybe not deceitful. Maybe we'll avoid deceitful. Give you those two. I'll give you these three. And then we're just done. I'm making someone I'm making someone too powerful. Let's not get out of hand. And we'll grant you to not you. Intent. Intent seems good. Now we don't have too many land. I should have given it to my kid. Oh well. Good ideas are coming too late. Common problem. Uh, powerful vassal expects a position in court. Uh, you can have this position, honestly. Because you're good at that. Uh, domestic or foreign affairs. But honestly, I think I'm more worried about tonal affairs right now, so focus on that. And as for control, how is control? Control in my areas is good. Control is basically like how much, um, how, <laughs> to describe the word with the word, how in control of the province you are, so it affects modifiers, I think, like, acts and stuff. Where is control? Yeah, so, uh, levies and taxes. So you, you know, you want higher control in your places. Train commandos, man of arms maintenance, that's cool. Now we have a bunch of land where we can promote our culture and we're gonna want to do this. So we're gonna start by having him work there and spread our um, culture down there. Probably need to convert some of these people too. Yeah, all these people are heathens. So get on the oh wait you're making a claim leave you be okay we're gonna wait no i'm gonna get rid of this duchy title before it gets me in trouble and the vassals over here are gonna be grumpy because a we destroyed the title and b would no longer consider their rightful liege so you can see down here not rightful liege minus five uh but that's fine this way we still rule everything when we transition over. Now, yeah, I'm tempted to change it to me so I have control over the traits, but we, we made our choice, we, we made our decisions, we have a law, I'm going to stick to it. That's one of the things, like, I try with Crusader Kings to roleplay to some extent because it just, it makes the experience funner and more interesting and more varied but sometimes my desire to min max kicks in and I have to kind of fight that urge it's like I want to just choose the best options uh yeah we'll take that claim thank you and at some point we'll declare war for that claim but I think the next war we do and our levies have almost fully recovered and actually, we should probably do this before we die. So maybe we'll rush this. But I think the next best one is to take the land from him. We're just going to dive into this. Which is a lot of wars over. Let's move our rally point here. And we'll raise all. Great. Kind of nice having a small empire because raising your levies is so quick. When I was playing the Byzantine Empire, it was a while ago now, but it was like, oh boy, you you could uh, could take hundreds of days to raise all your levies because empire is just so vast. Okay, this should go pretty solidly in our favor, honestly. Oh, the Duke's leading it. We could just capture you. That would be grand. Wait, did we lose? No, we didn't lose. What? I got very confused there. I missed something obvious. Uh, scandalous priest. The Catholic world was shocked to learn that my vassal, Bishop 
A prince bishop Earp, was discovered torturing a servant boy in a secret chamber under his rooms. Good lord. Uh, taking apparent delight in the poor boy's anguish and screams. Or anguished screams. No am there. Uh, condemn him for his transgression. Game P.I.T. He loses opinion of me. Athletic fever decreased by 10. We haven't talked about fever at all. I should briefly talk about that. Defend him. No. Um, stay client. No. No, no. We're, we have no patience for that. Um, really quickly. Uh, fever is this number here. And the higher the fever, the more uh, likely places will convert. And the kind of uh, the more... Or the easier it is to convert to your faith and the lower the, the the harder it is to convert things to your faith and it tends to be the bigger the religion the lower the fever it has i think penalties to it something along that line okay they are retreating i was just blind i don't know where they're retreating to you know what we'll stop and we'll take the capital that's fine you go you go wherever you want to go mate you do whatever you want to do. I meant to build more siege equipment. For 60 gold. I'm tempted to max it. Not right now. Though. But we're going to up it to 10. I'm going to speed up because we're besieging again. They did siege that, but we sieged this. I'm going to call that a, a general victory. Uh, and you know what? Actually, I think that's a good place to call this episode. We, we already completed one war. We'll, we'll clean up this one in the next one and kind of see where things go from there. So thank you everyone for watching. And I hope to uh, see you in the next episode.